Weather and climate are related, but they're not exactly the same thing. In this video, we will explain what weather and climate are and explain why they are different. We will also discuss why weather and climate can change and how changing weather relates to climate change. Let's start by defining weather as a set of events that occur every day in the atmosphere, or more precisely, in its lowermost 10 kilometers, which is what we call the troposphere. In the troposphere, the air is constantly stirred to redistribute heat from one place and another, and as a result of the movement of air masses, the weather can change quite quickly from place to place and from one moment to the next. To describe the weather at any location, we use meteorological parameters. These parameters include air temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind force and direction, humidity, a mountain type of precipitation, and cloud cover or hours of sunshine. To a large extent, all of these factors are also used to describe the climate, except that while weather refers to their short-term evolution, to describe the climate we have to determine what their typical values are over a much longer period of time. So, the weather describes what the meteorological conditions at a specific locations are, or what they will be like in the next few hours, while the climate describes the weather you can expect in a certain area at any time of the year. Concretely, if you want to know how to dress today, you have to watch the weather forecast. But if you're going on a trip to a distant locality and you want to know what to put in your suitcase, you should rather find out about the climate of your destination. So how do you determine the climate of a region? Since the climate corresponds to the typical values of factors such as temperature, wind and precipitation, in order to describe the climate of a region, it will be necessary to analyze their average values as well as their variability over a fairly long period of time, say at least 30 years. This analysis of all the data over several decades allows us to establish what the typical values are or, on the contrary, what are extraordinary events that occur rather rarely. We have seen that the weather can change depending on the movement of air masses in the troposphere. The climate can also change, and this for two different types of causes. There are climatic changes which are cyclical, that is to say, which repeat themselves with regularity, if you will, a bit like the seasons. And like the seasons, these changes are essentially linked to astronomical parameters which change with rhythms of several tens or even hundreds of thousands of years. An example of this is the variation in the inclination of the axis of rotation of the Earth, which occurs every 40,000 years, or the exact shape of the orbit of the Earth, which changes every 100,000 years. Scientists believe that these cyclical changes are the main cause of the ice ages, which characterize the last geological period, the Quaternary. In addition to these astronomically related changes, the Earth's climate can change because of a change in the composition of the atmosphere. Indeed, the composition of the atmosphere plays a very important role in determining the Earth's energy balance. The composition of the atmosphere can change for different reasons, some natural, such as volcanic eruptions, and some related to human activity, including the production of greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels. In fact, scientists almost unanimously attribute most of the temperature increase observed over the past 50 years to this. As we have seen, weather and climate are related, but what is the relationship between changes in weather and changes in climate? Does changing weather mean that the climate must be changing? The answer to this question is yes and no. If extreme events do not increase in frequency and the weather varies around stable averages, we cannot speak of climate change. But if days with high temperatures significantly increase in frequency and this results in an increase of the average temperature, this can be interpreted as a climatic change. The same is true for other meteorological phenomena. For example, a particularly severe storm is not necessarily a sign of climate change, but if the frequency of storms varies significantly, it is. Note that the opposite is also true. That is to say, that even if the average temperature follows an upward trend, this does not exclude that there can be episodes of intense cold, because this is part of the normal variability of the weather. We will therefore not be able to interpret the fact that there are cold days as evidence against global warming. 
This concludes this first video in a series dedicated to climate and weather, in which we will cover in more detail several topics that we have mentioned here, but also many others, so don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell if you want to be notified when a new video becomes available. If you have any questions, or if you would like us to cover a specific topic, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you and see you soon!